Hello, everybody. Um, great start. Oh, bouncing thing. Right behind me is my house, but that is not what I'm here to show you. Well, I am, but I'm gonna show you, viewers, for my my re recoming video. I haven't recorded in a while, actually. I haven't been feeling the bestest, and I've been busy with school and whatnot. But I'm gonna just just run around, show you all the stuff that's been going on the server. I've been playing mostly. So, but this is just a, a nice little video of what's what's been happening. I'll show off my house last. So this is David's house, or um, Hubbis, I believe. Yes, this is his house. Oh, that's my house. Dang it, I didn't want to show that. Anyways, well, you can see I have a beacon. Well, I'll talk about that later. I've been <laughs> playing a lot. David's house. He, he doesn't really play much. That's why he doesn't really have anything finished. At all. That's his place. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you guys a little story. So, I, I've been working for the past hour plus on a video. Uh, editing. I don't know if you watch Yoss's channel. But he tells, but he, he he mentioned that we've been working on a project, and I just spent the last hour, hour and a half maybe, trying to finalize this project, make it look super nice, and then I accidentally closed out of it, so now I have to restart completely from the beginning. So I decided to just do this instead. This is the building I designed. Um, I'm kind of happy with it. I think I'm gonna change the roof a little bit. It's supposed to be kind of like what a Death Games would be. But it has my own set of rules. I'm not done with it yet. There's obviously no names, no rule book yet. So I've been busy working on other things to uh, to get that done. Oh, I don't have enough potions. This is, it's not really what spawn is, but it's mostly our spawn town. This mostly just consists of yours, his house, which is right here. And, um... Well, that's one of yours' buildings. This is the map that will be super nice looking when we get the uh, the 1.7 update. This is a chicken farm. There's like a billion eggs. I swear, there's so many. All right, let's. I know Matt. Matt Matt's house is the next place we're going. I know he's been a uh, he's been working on his house. Like for the third time, he wouldn't redid it. He he had his house and then he wasn't happy, so he redid it. And then he wasn't happy, so now he did it again. Oh, it looks looks a lot different. Obvi he, he's still working on it, as you can tell. He hasn't been able to finish it. Because, well, I don't know why. It's, that's his story, but let's go check it out. I haven't seen his house since he started redoing it for a third time. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of work. He's got his farm, pumpkin, and... Oh yes, it's looking really pretty nice. It's a lot of stone brick. That's kind of cool. So I guess doorway upstairs. Oh, he's planning on. <laughs> that's that's nice. I like the floating bed. Oh, this was from his last house. He had this this chest. Um. Oh, chickens. Okay. That kind of like goes off of what I had designed for. And, uh, at my place, Matt's abode, I was, I don't get why he's got so many doors, but I mean, you know, that's his thing. Three different entrances. Second level, okay. Third level, nice, nice, I like it. I like it. So let's go, we'll just head down the coast. We'll stop by village that naturally spawned, and I think someone's, no, no one lives there, so there'd be no point. We'll just run by it. Uh, we'll sp Go to the skeleton spawner I made. I'll go over how it works if you don't. If someone's on the server watching this and it's like, Oh, how does this uh, skeleton spawner work? And I'll be like, Oh, you're an idiot. Here, I'll show you. Ah, so. This, this little comment right here is directed towards Yas. My, my buddy. He ch he... I'd kind of dared him to uh, to make a, a vlog because I didn't think he could pull it off. And he did it. He made one. 
Now I need to to show him that I can do a better vlog because that's just what I do. I, I'm gonna prove him up, you know, show him up. So expect a vlog video from me in the point in time in which I get an HD camera because the only thing I got is my phone and I'm not using that. So there's a um, village naturally spawn. There's a nether portal. The skeleton spawner I made over here. No, I didn't make the spawner. I just made the XP grinder. It's pretty much... I don't really even need to go in there. Just to say how it works. You stand at the torch on the top level, and then you go and you punch him. That's how it works. Yeah. So, this is Yasa's house. You're never going to see him over here, because he's pretty much at my house all the time. I mean, when I come to my house, you'll see why. He... <laughs> No offense, Yas. Why, why he's always in my house? I mean, sure, it's it's great and all. He doesn't really, you know, have anything. His best thing in here is his iron pickaxe. He doesn't have any beds anymore. Pretty sure he took them to my place. So where do we go to next? We'll head that away. I'm not sure whose house. This is that we're gonna be going to next. There's no name, and they're never on the server. If I had to guess, it's this Nathan B person who's the newest member to the server. Oh, we didn't go to Diddy's house. I completely forgot it. Um, he kind of wants it secret, so I guess we won't show it. He has a nice underwater house that, well, it's really hidden. So you don't really know where it is. So this, this is this other house that I was just mentioning. I think it's a Nathan B. Is that, this is what his house is? Oh, he's got, oh, this is the house with the diamond blocks they were talking about. Fancy, six diamond blocks. That's not that much. Never really looked at what he's got. I've never really been over here. I didn't realize he had... That many diamond blocks. I have that many, but... Oh. Whoa. Enchanting table. It's fancy, fancy. They have a... It's got a bit of stuff. I don't see why you'd stick diamond blocks outside. Because... <laughs> creepers gonna come blow that up, but... Whatevs. If that's what you wanna do, that's what you wanna do. This why over here is Carter's house. Or Kaizo. 84. As you can see, he has two deaths. So he's a... He can uh, be very smart in the ways of not uh, dying. Unlike me, I got 24 deaths. But uh, I choose to have that many. Yeah. Sure. So... Carter's house. Nice design with furnaces and... Lovely place. Very square so i think the only place left to show is mine and what i have been working on with yas which you'll see the video of that probably in a while because i'm not I've, I, yeah like i said i spent probably an hour and a half i said i still always sort of saying an hour and i'm saying like an hour and a half and honestly it's probably been about an hour and a half that i was working on it watching the whole it's like we're doing a time lapse thing, so you know it's all sped up. So I have to watch, but I'm watching all of the 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 show. The show. I'm watching the whole video, like coming up with the best parts that are that we we say something funny, so I can put it in there before I speed it up and whatnot. And I was gonna do voiceovers and in, in points, but when I was doing that, I completely messed up somehow and. And I accidentally messed it, it closed on me, and I lost all of my work. So needless to say, I'd have to watch another hour and a half long clip. Or multiple clips to get it back to the way I just had it. And I, I don't really feel like doing that. It's a lot of work. So, house or 
Blaze Spawner. We'll go Blaze Spawner first. This is something I also made with a little bit of help from Matt, but it was pretty much me the whole time. But I, I'm not one to turn down the credit, so a little bit of thanks to Matt for doing that. That's that other nether portal, the one we saw by the village. This is also to people who don't know how this works, because I know Yas was trying to figure out how to, to use it, and he couldn't. I need to eat. So, here you go, Yas. So now you know how to use the... The <laughs> blaze spawner. Which is right there. If you can see it. He made a nice little tunnel. If you want to check out his video of seeing him making this. I don't get what it was all about, but you know. He felt that he didn't want to be a, a pansy. And so he wanted to to make this so he wouldn't fall into the lava. You know, can't blame him there, but it takes real balls to, uh, I guess he doesn't have full fire protection, fire protection, fire protection armor. Oh, maybe I can get a skull if I'm lucky. Oh, no. No, you got knocked off. I want to see if I can get skulls. So how you come, come in? Uh, this is because of some gas, but you come down here Okay. You stand here to get them spawning. If you want to block yourself in, go ahead. You stand there to get them spawning. And then down here is where they'll come. This is supposed to be out. So you wait, you know, keep this on. If this, if you push this button, it's going to turn on lava that will actually stop them from spawning for, you know, whatever reason. Oh, those are for my diamonds. I have more, but whatever. There aren't any potions in here. I've, they've been all used up. So what you do is, you know, they spawn, they spawn, you stay up there. You come down, you flip this switch. It stops them from moving around so they get trapped in this area. You push the button. You know, wait, and they get crushed up and whatnot. And then when you're done, you can either splat, you throw a, a harming potion on or, or punch them in the ankles. When you're all when they're all dead, you unflip this to get more to come down, and then you know you enchant your thing, and then you're good to go. That's how it works. So there you go. You don't have to be curious on on how that thing works anymore, because I just told you. Okay, final stop, my house. Which I am very proud of my house. I I like it a lot, and me and Yas have been, been working on the downstairs to it, which is starting to get really cool looking and I'm very happy about it so yeah I, I think it looks really cool personally I, I'm really quite quite happy with the building we have a lot I have a lot planned to put down there and you shall you shall see what I I plan to do because I am a very spectacular mind and I'll get lots of shit done so I need a, another project. That's not what I'm going to be doing now, or at least for a while, because I have so much stuff I'm working on. But after that, after my house is all done, which ain't going to be anytime soon, because I have so much planned, I'm going to be doing the Nether Hub. And hopefully, I can get volunteers to help me out with that. Some of the, the people on the server, probably Yas, maybe Matt, will help me out with that. That's Yas's stuff. That's why it looks so weird. This is a tree farm. It's pretty much self-explanatory. What you do is you put uh, bone meal in here and you put the, the sapling there. It activates a blah, uh, detector thingy, a block update detector. And it pushes it, starts the clock, making lots of bone meal hit this tree. Being a big tree, you get five wood logs. It's a uh, total sapling eater. This is a chicken cooker. You put the eggs in the back. I need to make it fully automatic. I put adding eggs on the top. What you put the eggs on the top. The eggs. You have the eggs in here. You flip this switch. It makes a super fast clock, which is actually a half tick pulse if it didn't have all of these repeaters that stabilize it. So it's a super fast clock. And it puts the eggs in. The eggs. The chickens grow up, die. That's gonna. These are both gonna go under my house eventually. And then this is my house. 
I have a two stage beacon at the moment. I am working on getting some nice blocks over here to get another level of my beacon. My chests, lots of stuff. I don't have enough leather to make full, um, what are these called? Item frames on all these chests. I'd like to do that. Plus these torches. I'd kind of want to do this design on every one of these pillars here like this. I really like how that looks. Upstairs is very playing. I just have my bed and this nice tree thing. It kind of comes up from the floor through both of my levels. I, I kind of like that design. Glowstone. I just finished this roof very recently. It was actually just whoosh, chopped off right at this level. My bed and bed for a spare partner, if you know what I mean. Lady friend. Now this is my downstairs. This is the cool stuff I've been working on. And where all of my projects are mostly. This is going to be something right there. I'm going to put something. That's the last thing I'm going to show. That's what we're working on. Oh, I'm working on this too. I want... You see how this is red, this is white, there's sheep in here. I want this to extend all the way for every color of sheep having the same general design to it. I'm very happy with how this looks, so I kind of wanted to do that. Uh, I wanted to do more, but I ran out of this clay and quartz, so I had to go on a big mining trip. But I ended up... This was this room's actually before. This is a... Very simple potion brewing room. This is my potions. That's where I got all my speed ones from. This is in 8 minutes, so I didn't bring it. And then my materials for brewing. The nice block update detector also on this for the nether wart. And then boom, bada bing. This is what I've been working on. Oh, the, the beacon's going to get moved, so I don't have these weird blocks. This room is what the video is going to be showing of us making. And I made this back wall. I'm really happy with how it looks. What we're going to do is we're going to have like rooms coming off these ways, that away, that away, that away, that away, off these different levels, and a huge room coming off of there. This room actually makes me lag a bit when I'm recording because of all this fire and, and lava. Put a lot of particles in this room whatnot but i'm really quite happy with this room we have a lot of a lot planned that stuff you saw on the surface are going to be coming off for these rooms here i'm also going to do a mob spawning machine thing that's going to be going to be happening so look look for that video of uh of me and yas maybe that's supposed to be filled up i don't know what's going on there so yeah look for that video of us working on that this right room right here because it's gonna be a good video i'm gonna make sure i do a good job on it but it's just a pain in the butt to make especially since i was almost done with it and then the whole thing got erased this right here if you see the obsidian it's kind of an obsidian path kind of thing going to a huge nether portal when the 1.7 update comes out in this room i'm gonna move in that uh little nether portal into this area once we start to fix that out and then yeah this is gonna be another area back here too so i just wanted to make that quick little video of what's been going on in this sur i just realized that i actually stopped my recording for whatever reason it just stopped i don't know when it stopped but i just realized it did yeah i'm very brilliant so <laughs> yeah that was the update goodbye